There aren't necessarily right or wrong ways to hold your pick or how to place and hold your picking hand on your guitar, but there are some ways that are more advantageous than others, and that's what we want to strive for. One of the first things that I see a lot of beginning players do, including what I did when I first started playing, is holding the pick like you're pinching it. And as soon as you see someone trying to play in this way, you realize that it's not really right. It just looks awkward. It inhibits a lot of your emotion and just ability to play, really. So instead, what you want to do is hold your thumb, starting from your wrist, like it's a straight line, if you can see that there. And then the actual pick, the little pointy part of that, is going to be pointing perpendicular or at a right angle from that line here. So your thumb is this horizontal line. Your pick will be directly vertical, pointing down like that. Now, you can't quite see that, but there it is. And then your index finger is the only other finger you need. You don't need to use your middle finger. Your index finger, instead of pinching the pick with your fingertip, you're going to be holding the other side with the side of your finger there. You can see like that. There we go. So if you're holding the pick in this way and you just lift your thumb up, it should rest easily on the side of your index finger like this. When I first started holding my pick this way, it opened up a lot of possibilities in my playing, allowing for a much more natural motion when doing tremolo playing. So the angle that your wrist is moving at is a lot easier and takes a lot less effort to get more speed out of it. And if you're playing in a heavy, distorted style, then it's a lot more comfortable to do palm mutes and get that chug-chug sound that everyone loves so much. And especially one thing that's not really possible if you're pinching like this is pinch harmonics. That squealy sound you hear a lot. The next most common thing I see in earlier players in disadvantaging themselves is planting one or two of their fingers under the string on the body of their guitar like this. This isn't a problem most of the time. You can still strum reasonably well, but there are some situations like if you're playing on your lower strings and the upper part of the neck like this, you have to contort your hand in strange ways in order to not accidentally palm mute it. And generally it just gives you a lot less mobility if you use the electronic part of your electric guitar, and you are using electric guitar, then you have to lift your hand up to adjust your volume or switch your pickups, which is something that I personally like to do a lot. You can see how if you're planting your fingers here and getting this rotation going on that you're supposed to be doing, it's a lot more difficult than it needs to be. But if you're not planting your fingers here, then what do you do with them? Well, if you're not doing some sort of chicken picking hybrid between using a pick and using your fingers, then really what you're going to need to do is get them out of the way. What I do, since I'm often playing in a hard rock, heavy metal style, and my hand is often resting against the bridge either to do palm mutes or pinch harmonics or fast picking that we mentioned earlier, then they're just relaxed, totally relaxed, and above the strings here, sort of floating. Some people like to curl their fingers in so it's at the same angle as your index finger that's holding the pick here, which is fine. Occasionally I find myself doing something similar to that when I'm strumming, but Really, as long as they're out of the way and they're relaxed and you're not thinking about them, then whatever works is fine. So to boil it down, when you're trying to figure out how to hold your pick and use your right hand in playing guitar, basically, as long as it works and it isn't inhibiting you, then it's okay. Those are the best ways that I've found to use my right hand to my advantage. That's not also disadvantaging me in some other way. But if you find something else and it works for you, then go ahead. That's fine.